Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. I am back today with another air dry clay video and it's gnomes. Let's go. Now you may or may not know that I do love me a gnome and I have got a, an, an entire playlist on my channel just gnomes. So that is sock gnomes, we've got some air dry clay gnomes on there and we've also got some needle felting gnomes so do check that out if you like gnomes just as much as me. In today's video we are going to be using Das air dry clay, you would have seen me use this in previous videos. It is my go to air dry clay and I love it. So the first thing I'm going to do is is roll some out. We are making flat, completely flat Christmas tree decorations and the first thing I'm going to do is cut out a teardrop shape or a flame shape. It's a really basic teardrop with a bit of a flick at the top for the gnome's hat. I am using a paper clip to cut this and this was an, a really handy tip from Red Rocking Bird. If you have not seen her channel guys, check her out. I found her two weeks ago. She has got some of the most incredible air dry clay creations. She mostly does air dry clay actually and I've already learned so much from her and truly mostly how to look after my air dry clay. You know how to actually really work with it properly and not have it curl up at the edges and things like that. So she's been a real help and yeah she used the paper clip to cut hers out and I thought genius because otherwise I'm gonna have to use a knife and yeah, the paper clip was so much easier. So I'm gonna be using some water just to smooth down those edges, smooth the surface out and just get rid of those rough edges that were left by the paper clip. And then I'm gonna roll out some clay here now. I'm kind of doing these gnomes in two different ways. Kind of the order in which I'm doing them are two different orders. So really it's entirely up to you. You know, the creative license is all yours. I'm just showing you how I made mine. I just rolled a piece of clay out into a snake. This is going to form the rim of the hat on the very first gnome. And then I'm using my paintbrush to smooth down. So I'm gonna grab some of that clay, drag it into the other clay so that you know it's gonna stick, it's never gonna move again. Then I'm gonna roll out another piece of clay and just creating another little teardrop, like an upside down teardrop for the beard. And then I'm placing it up against my gnome and I realise it's just a bit too big, it's too long, so I'm going to take the top off. Again, how you do this is entirely up to you, but honestly, yeah, I'm just playing it by eye, eyeballing it, that's the way, that's the one, eyeballing it. And then I've kind of cut this little triangle top just to wedge it in under the lip of that hat because I know that the nose is going to go there and yeah, it works really, really well. There's no reason why I did this. I just thought, yeah, I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't do it on the other one. But yeah, I thought it would look nice for the hat to look like it's coming down over the gnome's body. But truly, I'm really not fussed about that part and I've not done it since. So you can totally just skip over that part. Then I'm using my silicon air dry clay tools to carve the beard. You would have seen me do this in previous videos with my air dry clay gnomes that were built up around a cone. I do this a lot with my beards. I just use these tools to create these lines and give it some texture and make it look like hair. Then I'm using my paintbrush to smooth it all down and I roll a ball of clay and shove it in. And guys, that is pretty much it. So I am taking a little bit of time to carve out some clay to make sure that that ball fits nice and snug because what I don't want is when it dries for it to come apart in any way shape or form. You want to make sure it's stuck in there. Another little quick sausage with a bit of clay and wrap it over because I felt like the rim of the hat wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, I wanted it thicker, so that's what I did. I added another sausage and I'm pretty much going to repeat the process on the one on the left but in a different order. So in this one, I'm putting the beard down first, then I put the hat on and the order is completely different. So again, entirely up to you which way you do it. But between each layer, I'm making sure that I'm smoothing out that surface with my paintbrush or my finger, lots of water, but not too much water. And yeah, I honestly cannot tell you how simple these were to make and I hope you love them but guys I am desperate to put some Christmas music on so um let's just chill cup of tea 
bit of Christmas music and I'll come back after. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, oh, la da da oh, oh La da 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 oh, oh La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories love a Christmas song. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that anyway. You would have seen me paint these now. Yes, they took four days to dry, four whole days. This stuff does not mess around, honestly. And whatever surface you've got them on, whether it's a tile or whether it's a glass worktop, they will just automatically pop off once they are fully dry. Now I took them in the garden and I gave them a spray paint of this plastic coat spray. I recently bought this. I am loving the shine. I haven't even done the noses yet, but yeah, I'm gonna do them afterwards. I just really wanted to see what this spray paint would look like. I couldn't, I couldn't not give one of these gnomes a Fair Isle hat. Now, if you saw my air dry clay gnomes from two, I think they were two years ago, I gave one of them a Fair Isle hat and I loved the results. Not everybody did, but you know, I did. <laughs> so I figured I would do another one. I'm just using my trusted Posca paint pens. These pens are amazing. And yeah, they went on really well, even though I've already varnished these. So technically guys, I'm doing this end bit a little bit back to front. I should have done all of this before varnishing, but it was only after varnishing I thought about adding the Fair Isle. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, everything's a little bit back to front. I will say this, 
that plastic coat spray I feel like it has turned the clay a little bit yellow it has a yellow tint to it so if you have used this spray please let me know if that is normal so what I ended up doing was going back over all of the beards with white paint and I also added the noses as well because don't ask me why I didn't paint the noses. I don't have any answers, okay? I thought, right, let's spray them and we are done. But we really weren't. So with it yellowing all of that clay, I did, I do. You do see the end result. I do go back in and I repaint all of the beards white and I paint the noses. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I need people here with me. I've said it before. I would love if I could just have someone on, on a video call while I'm crafting to tell me what I've forgotten and what I've left out. But I hope you have really enjoyed this video. You guys know how much I love gnomes and air dry clay is just perfect to create Christmas tree decorations. And of course you can personalise them to your own home decor, you know, your own colour scheme. But here you are, I'm showing you a close-up. The noses are finally painted. I went over the beards, but I didn't go over the rims of the hats. So that there is a distinct kind of difference. The rim of the hats are slightly yellow, and I'm okay with that. But I hope you've loved it. Thank you so much if you've lasted, if you're still with me. Well done. We're nearly 12 minutes in, so I really appreciate it. If you could give me a big fat thumbs up, that helps YouTube know that you enjoyed this and it will push it out for other people to see. And also leave me a comment down below. I often forget to say this. Do subscribe. If you've made it this far, come on. You know you wanna. Press subscribe. It is free. And yeah, you will be able to catch up on all future videos. Oh my God, I love them so much. I love them so much. The ribbon is from Amazon. The red and white rope is from Hobbycraft. But if I find similar, I will link below. Again, it's all personal preference and what you choose to finish them off with. But I am obsessed. Utterly obsessed. Thank you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.